How to have a secret affair at work. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Beneath its mundane surface, the workplace can be a den of raging hormones and adrenaline. So much so that a recent survey suggests that a whopping 70% of us has had a romance with one of our colleagues. These relationships are increasingly under threat from bosses who feel our minds should be focused on productivity rather than passion. Here is a guide to conducting a secret affair at work. Step 1. Be professional. Just because you know what sort of underwear they're wearing does not mean that you can't be professional in the office. It appear to be the last thing on your mind. Maintain a work-life demeanour at all times. Avoid touching, lingering looks or intimate conversations. If anything, give your partner a wider berth than all your other colleagues. Step 2. Arrange a rendezvous. Set times and places to meet where you know you will get some privacy. Arrange your rendezvous like an MI5 agent. Plan cover stories. Arrive from different directions. Think about escape routes. An empty stairwell where you can hear people coming is preferable to a stationary cupboard where you can easily be caught unawares. If meeting after hours, pick a place far from your work location. Remember to travel there separately. Nothing will arouse suspicion more than the two of you leaving together. Step 3. Don't leave any evidence. This can be anything from an undeleted email, to lipstick marks, to misplaced underwear. Cover your tracks at all times. If you have had a quick fumble in the photocopy room, make sure everything is in place before you return to your desk and that you haven't made any copies. Avoid sending emails through the company system. It's only to be a matter of time before one gets accidentally set to Matt in accounts. And you know how he gossips. And never commit the ultimate sin. Turning up to work in the same clothes two days in a row. This is a surefire sign that you didn't make it home the night before and will start rumours before you can say scandalous. Step four. Head off the gossip. At some point, someone will start to get suspicious. Quell any gossip surrounding you and your amour by ruthlessly starting more salacious rumours. What was the new temp doing in David's office this morning? Isn't it funny how Sandra, Lisa and Jenny from HR have all gone on maternity leave since Jeff started? Before you know it, your torrid little affair won't even be worth a mention. Done.